Uma, of course, they were just such bitter rivals, but politics is, of course, one strange uh, thing. No permanent friends or enemies, and perhaps what better proof than what we are seeing today? Natasha, in fact, uh, whoever has been watching Tamil Nadu politics over the last several months would certainly agree with what uh, Kamala Hassan tweeted yesterday, whether they presume that the people of Tamil Nadu are actually fools. Because just last week, we heard uh, O. Paneer Silvam talking about corruption in the EPS government and talking about action plans to uh, beat that corruption and uh, said that he would go around everywhere talking about this campaign. And now today, they both uh, are standing together on the same days and expressing happiness about uh, being together and uh, yesterday we saw them shaking hands, uh, exchanging smiles and uh, smiling and posing for the camera. So this entire uh, play out that we are seeing in Tamil Nadu of uh, uh, people who have been uh, bitterly criticizing each other and expressing, uh, dis uh, you know, should I say, uh, trust deficit towards each other, now coming together and saying that we are together going to form a government that certainly will raise questions about how long this uh, honeymoon is really going to last. Uh, some Critics, in fact, would uh, would uh, say that OPS, in a sense, uh, one critic at least told me that he believes that uh, OPS has returned his political obituary because it is very difficult for these both sides to actually pull together along. Uh, uh, in fact, one senior leader in the OPS camp also told us that he does not believe that this government will last. But as of now, things looking good. But the irony of it is that OPS uh, and his group of MLAs were people who had actually voted against the EPS government and uh, the people who voted for EPS, which is Dinakar and group uh, of at least 19 MLAs, uh, they are now standing up, uh, uh, being put up in fact in what has become uh, infamous as the resort politics of Tamil Nadu. They are being uh, taken to a private resort in uh, Puducherry where they are being kept and they are being, uh, they are talking about the fact that they have lost confidence in the chief minister. They are not talking about losing confidence in the government per se, but they are saying we have lost confidence in the chief minister and that's what they told uh, Governor Vidya Sagar Rao yesterday, though we do not expect that the governor is actually going to act on that, uh, on that complaint uh, by, um, from the, uh, the TGV Dinakaran group because what do you do if they are talking about losing confidence in a leader and not in a government because the Vidya Sagar Rao's uh, uh, mandate or governor's mandate would not be to change the leader of any political party which still seems to have uh, enjoy a majority uh, on the floor of the house. But of course, Stalin and others have been demanding that EPS should in fact, uh, prove his majority or prove that he has the confidence of the majority of the people uh, inside the assembly. All that will that take place in this, in this, you know, in the midst of all this, we are also hearing about a likely governor change because as you know, Vidya Sagar Rao's primary and responsibility is Maharashtra and U.S. additional charge of Tamil Nadu. Will he take full charge of Tamil Nadu and give up on Maharashtra or will there be an entirely new person who will be appointed as governor and only after that will the EPS, uh, the, the TTP Dinakaran side letter uh, expressing unhappiness over EPS continuing as chief minister, will that be at all taken up. These are all big questions. In between also, of course, we are hearing from the Supreme Court that the review petition that Sasikala and others had filed uh, saying that against her conviction and also against her four-year term, saying that uh, since she is not a public official, uh, she cannot be convicted again uh, okay. under the Prevention of Corruption Act and only Jailalita were in fact held a public office and therefore only she should have been, uh, she would be in fact uh, tried or convicted under that particular act. So lots playing out here, but right. time is very critical. Even as this optics is happening, happening of this major show, uh, ironically 100 years of uh, MGR is what they're celebrating this time and uh, this, uh, the, this occasion is also the same uh, in Arirul where uh, the deputy chief CM and the CM, EPS and OPS who have OPS has, uh, in fact, been uh, someone who was heading a government that was, uh, you know, in which uh, uh, the uh, EPS was a minister, and now the, uh, you know, the t uh, tables are turned, and in the party, it's the reverse structure. Will all this be able to really act okay. as a functioning party and a government? That still remains a big question. But for the optics right now, all uh, all smiles uh, as they are addressing people and telling people that all is well. But trouble still certainly not gone away. But time is critical for uh, TTV Dinakaran because uh, if he doesn't act fast, there is really a fear that there could be poaching happening. We are also hearing okay. from other sources that a third party, I mean a second party, I'm not talking about the DMK, but another party also is being spoken to so that they can get the MLAs from there in case EPS is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is pushed to a position where he's having to show uh, the confidence of the house. Uh, so we are being told that another party with about 10 MLAs, they are also being spoken to uh, in order to be able to get some strength uh, into the government side. Back to you, Natasha. Okay, Uma, you know, interesting, even as we're speaking there, we're looking at tweets from uh, OPS, you know, talking about how 
this, uh, there, no one has the power to topple this government and saying that the government will stand rigid for years. I know that you made a mention there of Dinakaran. He's, of course, uh, carrying on with MLA's resort politics that you may mention. But uh, how much trouble can he really be? Uh, you know, Vetrivel, who is the uh, one of the leaders, in one of the MLAs in the uh, EPA, in the TGV Dinakaran group, has spoken about the fact that if they want, if they have to finally choose between the party and the rule and the government rule, they will actually choose the party, which really means that they want to keep a control of the party. And they've also spoken about sleeper cells uh, within the AIADMK. What does that sleeper cell refer to? Dinakaran, in fact, after meeting Sasikala inside jail, had said that we have certain sleeper cells as well. And if that means that they are threatening the government, then what really are the choices that Dinakaran has? What uh, what people are telling us is that he has a lot of uh, skill and negotiation and many of these people who are now standing as MLAs or are uh, ministers, even ministers, uh, two to three ministers at least, owe their uh, political position to Sasikala's group and for them it is very difficult to stand up against uh, Sasikala and to allow the expulsion of Sasikala to happen. Right now, EPS has fallen has uh, not been able to take that final step. He has expelled a TTV Dinakaran. He, rather, he has said that TTV Dinakaran is not, does not hold the position of a deputy general secretary of the party. But I would reckon that uh, these people, they don't want to force the, the hand of EPS because he, they know the constraints that he's operating under, uh, uh, trying to expel uh, Sasikala at this point or get trying to get EPS to say that Sasikala is persona non grata is dangerous strategy. So they would likely, in all likelihood, wait for the election commission where we are expecting a verdict on Sasikala's um, election as interim general secretary. And that's where from there, from that's from where they will actually start uh, allowing the EC to make that kind of a call and make it easier perhaps for things to operate on the ground. One must understand that the perception and perhaps a lot of reality is also that there is a hand, an upper hand from Delhi, uh, 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 RSS ideologue based in Chennai is also being spoken about as being a major mediator in this uh, so-called merger of the two groups of OPS and EPS.